The outlook is grim for a three-month-old Albuquerque baby who was savagely abused, allegedly at the hands of her own parents. The baby, named Shanoa, is on life support. An official familiar with her condition says the child is blind, brain damaged, and will most likely be paralyzed for life. Police arrested her parents, Jacob Nichols and Ashley Gibson, Saturday at the Joy Junction homeless shelter where they were staying. Police say Nichols admitted to punching the baby in the chin. She'd also had 20 broken bones in her life. Now, because of this case, the state children, youth, and families department said today it's changing one of its policies. CYFD has been criticized because two of its workers did not return calls from a shelter employee who was trying to report more problems with that baby's parents. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live in the newsplex. Ian? Yeah, Dick, investigators say the baby's parents severely beat her over the weekend. But two weeks before that, reports of abuse were already on CYFD's radar. Numerous questions have been raised about whether something could have been done to prevent these injuries. A Joy Junction employee called CYFD two and a half weeks ago to report abuse. The parents admitted they taped a pacifier to baby Shinoa's mouth to make her stop crying. CYFD investigated but left the child with the parents since there was not enough evidence to take her away. During the next few days, our case manager made numerous attempts to call CYFD, CYFD specifically being the investigator and his or her manager. The calls were made to check up on the case and to report a new instance of neglect, but those calls were never returned. Our first and acting director of CYFD's Protective Services says the caseworker and supervisor were on vacation when the seven calls came in from Joy Junction. Because of this, CYFD staff now must leave alternate phone numbers on their voicemail or make sure calls get forwarded to someone who is at work. We don't know for sure you know, how things would have turned out if there had been another number uh, that somebody could have called to get their information to the right people. Um, however, we certainly feel that it's a, an important enough issue to address it aggressively. Now, CYFD stopped short of saying they dropped the ball, but they are conducting a full investigation to see if mistakes were made. Back to you. All right, Ian, the baby's parents remain jailed on half-million-dollar bonds.